Oh, fucking finally, this shit's working! Okay, this shit took literally, literally hours and hours to complete. Here's what you gotta do. Here's the easiest way I found it. Here's the easiest way to do. Build three large generators, two large powered cypher thingies, and basically connect the entire bit together. Connect all three of these together, and then connect one of them to here. Well, then that one goes to there, and then just, you know, I'm just... You literally have to connect everything to everything like this, see? Three large generators and connect that one to there, then that one to the console, then that one to the B emitter, and then this, and then another generator to this thing, and that thing to the B emitter, and then the B emitter to the relay, and then freaking that power thing to the relay, and then a connect the B emitter thing to the thing. Oh, oh and by the way. You need to get rid of the carpet. Like the thing, like you will not able to like put this on if there's carpet under it. So, <sighs> this shit took a while, but finally I fucking did it. I'm out. I'm gonna gotta go talk to some other dude. How y'all doing? What the fuck? How y'all doing today? How's y'all evening? H how is? How? Wait, what the? <laughs> dude! <laughs> All right, I'm the water talk. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, what? what? What, what, what the fuck? What, what the fuck? What, what the fuck? Oh, please don't tell me. Dude, the fuck are you doing? I got... Dude, the fuck are you doing? Now it's not time for a swim. I got the beam emitter thing. Oh. Oh my god, you glitch. Oh my god, I am not doing this again. No. Uh-uh. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna kill these guys. I swear to all that fallout, do not get your ass on land. I will kill the entire motherhood. <laughs> all right then. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm on health. I'm on health. Let me, let me put this. Uh, uh, no, I swear, this dude want? better be I on land. All right. Attack me, Arch! Boom! Boom! What the dome? Boom! Oh, I'm over, over the edge! Over the edge! Thank you, Steve, the mysterious stranger! They're all dead. They're all. Oh, wait, another legendary, too! Oh, the legendary! I'm coming! Where is he? He had legendary equipment on him! Oh, Don't tell me. Because he fell in the water. Oh, never mind. He's still salvaged some, but wait a minute. Where's the other dude? There it is. Junkie Switchblade. Oh, I didn't need that. Reason the amount of damage. Oh, fuck, I don't need that. Out of here. Bye! Oh my gosh, where is he? He's still in the water. He's still in the water. Oh! Dude, you better get. Alright, I'm gonna try fast travel. I don't know. I don't know why the fuck you think it's okay for you to swim. I'm gonna go fast travel. Um, that's over here. This dude. I swear, <laughs> this dude better be on land. I will not do that entire thing all over again. Oh, please, please be on land. Game, game. If you love me, if you love me, game. If I am the chosen vault hunter. Please let me on land. Please. If I am the chosen one, you will let him be on. Yes! I am the chosen one! The chosen Voltata! To save us all! Oh. Elder. Remarkable work, Knight. Oh, the signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? Fuck it! Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Sure, Your confidence ready. is an inspiration to us all. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. Oh, God gonna willing, happen. you'll end up inside the Institute, and the mission can continue. Right. Let's do this. Nothing's going to stop me when I'm so close to the answers I'm looking for. Eager yeah. to get inside, huh? Good. Damn now, right. I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. 
Uh. About 10 years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. Okay. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. Okay. That's fortunate. That's fortunate. Yes, it was. Securing useful resources during wartime is critical. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. Uh -huh. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. Uh -huh. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. Okay, then. So... I'm surprised that the Brotherhood let her go. Had I been in command, I wouldn't have allowed it to happen. She was a valuable asset. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. Okay. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. Will do. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. Oh, uh, that evil glance is a little bit... <laughs> What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Oh, you're going to be evil. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Roger. Good luck. Roger. St from within, locate Dr. Lee. But, uh, dude! That evil glance you gave me! I don't like that! You let work on the secret project. I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. Let's do this. Alright. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. Roger. Okay. Get my axe ready. Spike doesn't work from over there. You have to be on the platform. All right, let's go. Beat me up, Scotty! Come on, let's go. Beat me up, Scotty! Or knife. Lee is a valuable asset. If any harm comes to her, I'm holding you personally responsible. Roger that. No harm will come to her. Beam me up, Maxon! Or Ingram. In. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Beam me up, Ingram. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Right. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's you gonna take a minute or two to lock in. Move By out. the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. Right. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. Nice. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Roger. Well, well. Looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. All right. Ramp do this. the emitter. 60%, me up 80%, ground. 80%, emitter spiking but steady, the frame from opening all that's left fire is to throw the, the transmit switch, could jeopardize transmitting in 3, 2, 1, this is gonna hurt, wait, this is gonna hurt, wait, this is gonna hurt, ow, ow, oh, what the hell happened, where am I? Oh, I'm fine. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hit the axe. Hit the axe. Who wants the axe? Man, having your molecules all destroyed at once and just reprogrammed at once just... Ugh, weird. So we're gonna insert the network scanner. That's the main mission, right? Insert the network scanner. Got any hostiles? Shoot a terminal. Right. Fit this bad boy in. Get the logs. Oh, load the holotape. Oh, wait, wait, no, let me load the holotape. Uh, load the holotape again. Oh, network scanner. Resourceful. The hell are you, dude? 
I am known as Father. <sighs> Great. The Institute is under my guidance. Yeah. So I know what. Name my father. What can go wrong? Here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. And I'd like to put an axe in your face. So. Step into the elevator. Ha! <laughs> no, buddy. I'm just gonna. When I see you, I'm gonna shove an axe in your face. Cause you know you stole my baby. Remember that? Remember how you stole my baby? Yeah, I'm just gonna go and shove an axe straight into your face. So it's nothing personal. Broken. Well, shit, it's personal because you stole my baby. But um, now I'm, I'm I'm calling everything you say bullshit. I am li I'm calling everything you say bullshit, so-called father. Seriously, like, if you're like, part of like a like an evil organization and you call yourself and you want everyone to call you father, you I know you're gonna be bad. You heard what you think of us? Uh, you stole my baby, so I, I heard you make a big douche. You may have the wrong impression. You stole my baby. What do you think kind of impression I'm gonna get from you? Nothing you say Welcome will like to the institute. Oh. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. So that's why you're still living? Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. Mm. It has never Whoa. been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. Really? As you've seen, things above are... unstable. That's one way to put it. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. Hmm. Well, let me put you anyway, this way. Uh, you, you came into my fault. Very personal reason. You are here for your son. Damn right. Now, let me put you this way. You think you're all nice and kind. So you went to my vault, killed my husband, stole my son, tried to kill me. I don't really. What the fuck are you keeping? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm definitely up on action. Can't pick this. Definitely got an axe straight into your face, dude. Yeah, I don't care how futuristic this shit looks. No way to pick this. So where am I gonna go now? Don't have the key. I'm gonna find the key. I mean, it looks nice and fine, but scanner, applicator, I'm stealing all your shit. <laughs> Tweezers, <laughs> your examiner, I'm stealing all your scientific bullshit. Where do I go? Let's try. To the elevator from within. I didn't go to the elevator, did I? Or, or not? Okay. So we can't go in any of these two. So the only thing I can do is just locate Doctor Lee. Look, I get that you guys are all futuristic and shit, but you still, you know, stole my baby and killed my husband. You know, you could could give an explanation. Hey, we are uh, trying to help you, so give me your baby. And if you try to help us all, why don't you take us along with you? Why'd you have to go resort to mercenaries and killing things? What's that? I mean, doesn't matter what you gotta say, dude. I'm still good, Jim. And what the hell? Oh, come on. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What the fuck? I'm gonna get. Definitely not good. Definitely not good. I, I want. I want to put an axe straight into his face. Straight into his pocket. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna go in your face. Then your ass. And then between your legs. Wait, what? I called to go up or down? Okay, what the fuck? So I guess so I have to go into the elevator. But. What the fuck? What, what the fuck? That's a two. Is a freaking confusing as shit. So I go in here. It says elevator access denied. Anything else I gotta do around here? Yeah, elevator access denied. So maybe that goes that brings me back up. So I'm supposed to go. 
nothing's around here, no doors or anything. So I, it looks like I have to go in all there. I have to go in that room with the kid. I can't wait to get up. I can't wait to get an up close to personal visit with the father and my new friend the app. Busted. Do I talk to the kid or something? Wait, <gasps> Sean! Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <gasps> Sean? Oh my god. It's really it's really you. Who are you? I'm your mother. Sean, it's it's me. <laughs> I'm your mom. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, Daddy's... Daddy's gone, but... But I'm here. Mommy's here now. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh! It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. What? Go away! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean. I'm your mother. Talk to me, Sean. Just Come talk on! Talk to me! Just open the door. Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! I'm trying to... Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Sean. <laughs> <laughs> open the door. Open the door. Oh, I should have done that! I told you I was gonna kill him! Alright! Everybody dies! First. Wait! No, we didn't! I'm not gonna trust you! You stole my son! I'm killing you all now! Ah, uh, come on. Sometimes I, sometimes I wasn't supposed to do that. Somebody told me I wasn't supposed to do that. What? What the hell? I glitched the game in time. I think I just broke the game. <laughs> I broke it. Somebody tell me I was supposed to kill the father. I want to kill. Okay. Somebody tell me I was supposed to do it. Open the door. Useless. Okay. Somebody tell me I was supposed to do that. Gonna go kill myself. <laughs> Cause something tells me I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> something tells me, yeah, I wasn't supposed to do that. So, uh. so the uh, uh. really? Oh, that did like no damage whatsoever. Okay, where's my rocket launcher at? Where is it? <laughs> Cause I wasn't supposed to do that. Here we go. What the hell? I'm not dying! Hey there! Do you have the key? No. Where is- Okay, you know what? How am I- How am I not dying? Why am I not dying? The missile launcher is to the freaking face! I am not dying at all! You're gonna love that me! Come on, already die! Die! How the- I was so hard to kill myself in this game! What the fuck? Is this hard? Is this hard, really? There we go! Jeez! Fuck! Okay. So, I think the problem is because Sean doesn't know, because Sean was a baby. And, like, when we took it away, and... Correct me if I'm wrong, but people don't start like gain like remembering stuff like start gaining memory or memories like memor people don't remember past like age five or six. Or we think I think they don't remember. Yeah, I think they don't remember until like five or six. So that's probably the reason why Sean's like, "Who the fuck are you? You're not my mother," because <laughs> he's been raised by his two ever since he was a baby. So he probably thinks oh, this is his family now. Wait, 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 wait! I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go there? Was I? Oh, this place is confusing. I thought. Let me, okay, let me go. No, from that, okay. But you stole my baby from me, so I'm still I'm still on the verge and killing, <laughs> I'm killing just for everyone here. 
Granted, I'm not gonna kill the father right away. Sean. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean? Oh my god. It's really... It's really you. Who are you? These bad people, they... They stole you from me. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, Daddy's... Daddy's gone, but... I'm here now. But I'm here. Mommy's here. Mommy's here now. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh. It, it'll be okay, Sean. Mommy's here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Sean, please. Calm down. I'll get you out of there. Father? Father, help me! She's trying to take me! Father? <coughs> Father, help me! Alright, come on, dude. They dare so I can not kill you. You bastard. Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. What? Fascinating. But disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. The fuck He's you a do to him? Do you understand? It... We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. I'm not Please put try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am father. Welcome to the Institute. Fuck you. I could kill you right I now. I could kill you. Right here. Right now. Right now. Yes. Yes, you could. And I would be powerless to stop you. I did kill you right there, right there. Answer me, asshole. I want answers, asshole. Now. Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity. But I Shut need you up. to realize that this... Situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. Uh, you have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. What? I am your son. The Bullshit! Bullshit! Is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth? Think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Yeah. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything they need specimens. so the weird science experiments needed specimens that's why they took you in a manner of speaking yeah you okay with that the Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics the most logical starting point of course was human DNA plenty of that was available of course but it had all become corrupted in this Wasteland. Radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. 
Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me. After discovering records from Vault 111. An infant. Frozen in time. Protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Uh. I don't, believe, I don't you. believe you. There's no way any of this is true. I wish there was something to say. I know this isn't what you wanted. But it's the only truth I can offer you. Prove it. You're my son? Then prove it. Now. I've already told you how I came to be here. I don't know what further proof I can offer that would convince you. I've shown you my trust. Your weapons haven't been confiscated, and I stand unarmed before you. Please, let's just talk. All right then, talk. All right. Let's talk then. I know you must have questions. <laughs> I have to like the way. Please, anything I can do to help you understand. Gift you. So. You're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. No, we don't. Ultimately, the Commonwealth no, has no. nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Hmm. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Uh. Your father. He never got to see you grow up. Yes. What happened to him was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems what happened to him was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Really? For, many years, For your I father? Never questioned you who believe him about this collateral damage? I accepted my situation... And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. Really? But... What matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Um, uh, okay. Kellogg. Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You used him. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal so human lifespan. used him. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? 
Isn't that what you want? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Well, wait, I have a plan. What if, okay, what if I side with the Institute, but not really side with them? Like, say like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be with you, but then just work as like a person from the inside. <gasps> that was perfect, that's perfect. Things are pretty terrible up there. I've seen I'm it. gonna do that. I know. That is why we are so committed to creating a better life for ourselves here. And it's a life that you can now be part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? I am de I'm definitely gonna be like, I hit like the mole within them. All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. Perfect. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Perfect. I'm gonna, I'm, so, I'm gonna be working with them from the inside. Like, I'm not really, I don't really like them, the whole evil organization thing. But I'm gonna try and, like, work from, in, from, work with them from the inside. Like, secretly, like. It's an honor to have you here, man. Like, secretly, like, do from the inside. That's kind of cool, though. Okay, now I have access to this whole thing. So now I can like be like their mole on the inside, be like the Brotherhood's Minutemen and Railroad's mole from the inside. Oh, what the? Okay, <laughs> I was over here. I, okay, so I'm gonna try and do that. I'm gonna Almost try to like done. their mole from the inside. Need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's a third primary drive servo. Oh, damn. And we getting like a huge Templar vibe from this. Get up. Get up, okay. Oh, what the? Am I trapped? Okay, now. I'm getting a huge, like, Templar fire from this. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious famous thing? The good thing, though, I join, I join, like, just about, like, almost every, like... Cause I joined the first three factions, because I just really liked how they were. And this one is... She's been at it for over two hours. Even what is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. I found you. Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Actually, I was looking for you. Me? Why? I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. What? I'm not gonna kill you. Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though Lions let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. We want to kill you? Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? You're wasting your time working for the Institute. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, Wait a second. You're asking me to rejoin them, aren't you? Why the hell would they want me back? The project. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. 
If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to oh. know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Trust me. Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. We don't lie. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to oh, know. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Free the Commonwealth. Your work could be instrumental in freeing the Commonwealth. <sighs> you really know how to push my buttons, don't you? You know, I never understood why the Institute was so damn selfish. All those innocent people up there, dying. And here I am, surrounded by technology that could make their lives yeah. better. Yet we hide down here and insulate ourselves from everything and everyone. It's not right. It really isn't. It's not right. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Okay. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Right. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thanks. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. I got you just fine. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in yeah, you. Yeah, his daughter. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Of course. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do. Right. I'll take that. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> I'm really not like this two now. <laughs> I really can't. Because this two kind of seems like a whole Templar Order thing. You know, secret evil organization underground. One day, I'll design a more efficient reactor to replace that old clunker in the basement. In case anyone didn't mention it, quiet time runs from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Okay. So I still don't mean, I don't like the, the, the Minutemen. I'm not going to lie. They're kind of weak. So I'm like, I really don't like starting with them. The railroad kind of seems like a radical, like, you know, like, oh, save the Sith. Oh, screw everyone else. They have to save the robots and all that. So if, if it comes down to it, I get the two sides that I'm going to have to side on are the Brotherhood of Steel or the Institute. Because I heard that... I heard you have to pick a like Aaron like I don't know about the ending exactly, but I heard you have to like you have to like pick a side, and, and when it comes down to it, I I, I have to pick either Institute or Brotherhood of Steel. I'm definitely not gonna leave the Commonwealth to the freaking Minutemen or Railroad. No, 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 no. It's gonna be either the bro I'm gonna learn more about both of them, and then like see, see which one's better. So when we come back, we're gonna be doing um meeting everyone here in, in, in the evil Institute thingy and uh. Hopefully, learn more about their devilish evil secrets. We're all so, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay awesome, everyone.